countries. The SAT is a scholastic assessment test which is primarily taken by high school students uh, to apply to colleges and universities. Uh, it is designed to measure the college readiness as well as the uh, reasoning skills of the particular student. Uh, while the SAT subject tests are designed to measure the subject mastery of a particular student in a particular subject. Uh, now, uh, to understand where all it is uh, necessary, we can start with the US. Uh, in the US, uh, majority of the colleges uh, ask for your SAT scores. Uh, there are few colleges who do not ask for the SAT scores. However, it is highly recommended to even take it up then and submit the scores. Uh, now, when we look at the SAT subject scores in the US, uh, there are four policies. Uh, one, to begin with, is subject test uh, then we have the recommended recommended is wherein it's a little vague uh, wherein in a way uh, you know you are prompted to take it up uh, because uh, that shows that you took a challenge and you actually show that uh, you are a master of the particular subject uh, so it's highly advisable uh, when uh, the policy is recommended that you take up the SAT subject test uh, the third is considered now, in the case of a considered SAT subject test, uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, in case uh, it's, it's definitely taken into account if you submit those scores, uh, they are taken into account while uh, uh, reviewing your application. Uh, but uh, it's also like, you know, if you're actually looking out for your future goals or your academic and professional goals are related to that particular subject, then it is highly advisable that you take it up. The fourth is the alternative. Where colleges are uh, test flexible, so that's wherein it's important that you keep checking the website of the particular college to know, uh, you know if they are flexible or if they are not, and which particular policy are they following. So this is the scenario in the US. Uh, now, when we look at other countries like the UK or Australia or Canada or Singapore, uh, in none of these countries it is mandatory to take up the SAT. However, uh, if you do take it up and definitely gives you an advantage. Uh, some of the leading universities in Singapore like NUS, uh, there uh, if you take up an ACT subject test, uh, it definitely shows your expertise in a particular subject. So definitely gives you an upper edge, uh, upper hand in your entire uh, profile. Uh, and then if we look at uh, India, uh, in 2018, even in India, uh, the ACT test scores are being uh, taken into account at the liberal arts universities such as Ashoka or OP General, uh, all these universities are accepting SAT scores. Uh, they are being exempted from uh, the exam that the university takes place, that the university takes uh, before accepting a student. Uh, they are exempted from those exams. Uh, for example, in Ashoka University, there is the uh, Ashoka Aptitude Test Exam, but in case you have taken up the SAT, you are exempted from the AAT exam. So that is the scenario of uh, SAT. Uh, however, while planning uh, to take up the SAT or not to take up the SAT, uh, it's important for, for you to narrow down uh, for see which country are you really looking at applying to. If we are only looking at say uh, Canada and uh, uh, let's say UK, uh, then probably you know both these countries, of course, SAT, especially in Canada, an ACT score is uh, taken into account if you are applying to a leading university like. The but it is again not mandatory. But when we look at uh, you applying to US as well as UK, then of course you have to take the SAT up and you can submit those ACT scores when you're applying to universities in UK as well. Uh, so I would recommend uh, that here is where you can uh, actually come to us, uh, take some advice from us, uh, understand uh, whether you are keen on going to the, to the US, whether you want to sit for the SAT. Uh, we also have the ACT exam. Uh, which is again uh, something that is being recognized by a lot of universities in the US also. Uh, so you can also explore whether ACT fits you better or SAT fits you better. We already have a video on the same subject. So do go up and uh, take a look at that video and come back to us with any queries. Uh, if you like the video, 